All right, now I really like MicroStrategy. I work with it every day, but today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna tell you five things I hate about MicroStrategy. Number one, why oh why can I not build a filter inside a metric? Why do they limit me to choosing a pre-existing filter? Who at MicroStrategy thought this was a good idea? Seriously, I want their names. Now I know when you choose a filter, it's that pre-existing filter can be anything. It can contain multiple filters. I get all that so that you can get around it, but you have the functionality. You can't tell me that this would have taken a lot for the developers to create. I just refuse to believe that. Number two. Why doesn't MicroStrategy do a good job explaining what training metrics are? For the longest time, I had no idea what these were. Um, and, you know, I, I, as you know, if you watch this channel, I do have a big interest in neural networks and algorithms. But even still, even with that, for the longest time, I had no idea what these were. I, I didn't even, I, I never even came across them during the MicroStrategy education, the training, none of that. Uh, and I talk to people today, most people I even interview have never, don't even know what these are. Uh, they're actually really powerful, and I think MicroStrategy should do a better job educating people as to their uses. Um, I have a few videos on this channel if you want to go check those out about training metrics. But yeah, I don't know why MicroStrategy does not do a good job explaining what those are. Number three, why can't I do everything in developer that I can do in web and everything in web that I can do in developer? Why do I need to, if I'm developing a dashboard, do I need to bounce back and forth between the tools, right? You can do cert, you can preview the dashboard in web and it comes out better in presentation mode and all that, but you can, there are some, but developer is really handy for certain things uh, when you're creating like dashboards and, and documents and stuff. Why can't I just, choose either tool like when I'm developing a dashboard usually I have to bounce back and forth between the two um, and 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 web is probably even better for dashboards but I actually like the developer tool better you would think with it being you know I don't know what it's written in .NET or whatever you'd think that they would be able to just put everything in there uh, so yeah I don't like that not that both of the tools web and developer don't have everything um, yeah I wish MicroStrategy did a better job with that Number four, so we use Narrowcast um, a lot, heavily, where I work. Um, I, I know MicroStrategy is making a big push to distribution services, and we do use that for some things. But one of the biggest problems and things that I hate about distribution services is you can't send multiple attachments in an email. If I had to, if I had to use distribution service for everything and couldn't use Narrowcast, the executives would be getting like 500 emails a day. It would just be ridiculous. Um, I don't know why they couldn't just figure this out. I should be able to create some kind of a job in distribution services where I can attach multiple reports. And I've confirmed this with MicroStrategy support. It cannot be done. I don't know how this was missed or overlooked or why they didn't add this feature in there. I mean, I, yeah, I hate that. Number five. This is being a little bit nitpicky, but... Why is Architect so buggy? Now, for the most part, it's okay. I, I don't want to exaggerate, but every now and then I encounter a bug where I'll create, you know, it won't, if I'm trying to map an, um, an attribute to a table or whatever, to a new table, sometimes the table won't appear in the list, even though the column type and the column name is the same, I, won't, I can't map it, it doesn't, the table doesn't show up, so I have to do a workaround. It's being nitpicky, but, Architect's a little buggy, and I, and I really hate when that happens. All right, so those are five things I hate about MicroStrategy. Let me know what you think down in the comments. All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI-related content. And thanks for watching.